Hi guys, and thank you for joining me for another episode of Watson 5, your youth and disability magazine. My name's Jade, and today we're interviewing Henrietta Bollinger. Now, you may remember a few weeks back we interviewed Joshua Fui Maono, and we are going to be following Josh in sort of a documentary style sort of thing. Well, we're going to be doing the same thing with Henrietta. Henrietta is an aspiring writer, so I really want you to check this out and follow along with us. Tell us a bit about yourself, who you are and what it is you enjoy doing. Well, I'm Etta. Um, I was born in Wellington, but I now live in Auckland and I enjoy writing as, as my major passion as well as um, language. Tell us a bit about the writing stuff, like what kind of writing, what aspects of writing? Um, well, I write mostly short stories and poetry. Um, at the moment I'm working a lot with um, performance poetry, so that is, or spoken word I guess you'd call it, which is um, poetry that's specifically been written to be performed, um, to be presented on stage and um, that's been really interesting because I've been able to meet, um, yeah, just a really diverse group of people and we've gone and performed um, and competed against each other. And you just find, I think, I for me anyway, I found that my writing got a whole lot more honest because you had this really quite intimate audience who were all sharing bits of themselves with you and um, because everyone was doing that you could really um, you really like wanted to dig deep to pay them back for everything that they were showing right. you about themselves right. and I don't know I guess in a way it could be quite a vulnerable art form but also because we were all doing that there was this strength in it so where does this passion for performance writing come from? Or poetry, sorry. I don't know, I remember hearing this quote from a performance poet that went something like, um, performance poetry is like theatre, my two secret loves of theatre and poetry had gotten together and had a baby, and it was a baby I had to meet. So. That's kind of how I see it too. How does your disability factor into your everyday life? How, how do you manage it? How do you work with it? Well, I use a wheelchair, um, an electric wheelchair around school, just for long distance and to compensate for the fact that our school is built on a rubbish dump. <laughs> um, and I use a manual wheelchair around home just because it, it's more... Um, convenient. My really close group of friends um, are really accepting of it and I've got another friend who's also in a wheelchair so it's just like oh okay we have to you know um, just do things slightly differently but sure. you know like we're gonna p potentially go on a road trip in the summer and it's just a matter of you know okay so we need a wheelchair accessible batch or a car that'll fit two chairs or that kind of thing but it's really not yeah it doesn't really inhibit that side of thing really. Do, does your disability come into your performance poetry or, or does it play a role in the things that you write about um it does uh, definitely like I, as i was saying from from the work that i've done recently um my work's become a lot more sort of grounded in myself and talking about myself and with that disability is kind of an unavoidable subject um like for example the the piece that i've i performed a piece last night at um the town hall and that was specifically about yeah being in a chair um and just those relationships that you have with people where where that is not a defining factor of your relationship and I really appreciate those people I really appreciate people that acknowledge that it's there 
and work with it but it actually doesn't contribute to or dictate your friendship you've been selected for voyager i wanted to ask you what was it about how voyager was explained to you that made you say yeah i'll do it um it just seemed really exciting and really catered for i mean there are not many, many opportunities that specifically look at you as a person and go and go right how can we work with that it's usually like here's the box fit yourself into it somehow whereas this seemed more like going the other way you know yeah, yeah. um what what do you hope to get out of your next year with Voyager have you thought about specifically the things that you want to work on mm. or develop or achieve well I definitely like be looking to extend myself um, as a writer I, I think because I've decided that that <clears throat> um, you know despite everything of, of having a range of other interests and things it is something that I'm really passionate about and it is something that would sustain me for a year, um, having just that focus, yeah. So you're planning to move to Wellington, mm -hmm. well, you're going to be going to Victoria University. Um, it's going to be a big transition for you. What, what are your thoughts around that at the moment? Um, well, I mean, obviously there are the practicalities of it. Um, I, it was really useful for me um, this year at school. My school provided me with the opportunity to actually take a paper at Auckland University, which um, was amazing because um, not only did they support me financially with that, but they also, it just meant that I um, had the opportunity to experience yeah, the academic side of university and really test myself and I came through that quite well so that just kind of put my mind at ease about the work the yeah the step up in the work from NCEA to university level um, and now I guess it's just a matter of um, sort of orientating myself around Wellington and making sure that I know where all the support services are and um, um, like in the university as well as sort of around the city um, but yeah I'm hoping to get into a school of residence there which would oh you're planning to board there yeah which okay. would be sort of a, a middle ground between home and flatting and then hopefully transition to flatting so we're going to be following you for the, for the next little while at least the next year Sure. So there's going to be like a mini documentary, you've seen the one on Josh. Um, what do you want to say to the people of YouTube about what what they might see and what you hope to share with them? Well, um, I guess, I guess that I hope that this, will, um, that, you know, that this will help people with um, disabilities to see what the possibilities are and see what the difficulties are so that they can solve them for themselves as well. But for anyone else, I guess you will, what you'll really be seeing is just, just the journey of, you know, a high school student go transitioning to university and with this, extra disability well yeah with the ex the additive of a disability um and i guess what i want to be known for is not is not look she lives her life despite the disability it's just going to be that i live my life full stop that's about all we got time for for our coverage of henrietta for today but if you would like to see a performance from Henrietta that she did especially for Awesome 5, stay tuned. That's all from me.
Stay awesome, New Zealand.